to be reviewing the Land Moto car tent, which is in this big duffel bag. Now you want to install this in the bag, handle up. And I'm just going to set this on the back side of the moon roof, about in the middle with the handle coming out 90 degrees from the direction the car is facing. And then I'll pull this lever down, which activates the suction cup. If the wind's high, uh, you're going to want to have someone to help you. Uh, we have lock, unlock, and we want to unlock this, so there it goes right out. But you'll just take your side mirror straps, drape it around there. This one's stretchy on the back side for your hooks. Get kind of a good snug fit, but don't get it too tight because you got the other side to go and you don't want it to cock on you. Ta-da! Now we have the Land Moto car tent over this uh, four-door 2013 Honda Accord, and uh, it's balanced. It's not uh, leaning to one side or the other. You can't tell from the side, but it's pretty well balanced. This does cast cast uh, a good shadow over the entire cabin of the car and even if it didn't uh, there's enough shade on the remainder to keep it cool and I was uh, really impressed with how well it could keep it cool but the uh, safety strap is attached to the handle which is facing the driver's side of the car but it's cut resistant and it has a little plastic hook right here and uh, if you could you uh, open the both the driver and the passenger side door and you'll stick this through the door. I'll show you on this side. But, uh, you'll be on the other side so you have more room than this, but you'll take this, uh, stick it in the door, shut it. That's how you secure it and make sure it's theft proof. For the test, I went to a Target store. Uh, they have, we have a huge uh, parking lot in this because there's also galleries and stuff. But the cool thing I like about it was specifically picked out. It's like a wind tunnel right there. So once we got the car tent on the top of it, we left it for an hour, came back at 3.04 p.m. The external hood temperature was 114. The internal cabin temperature was 96 degrees. So that's 18 degrees of difference. And the external outdoors temperature that day was 87 degrees. When I got into the cabin, uh, to get ready to take this off, it felt noticeably cooler. I would consider it your typical hot entry into a vehicle when you left it parked for a period of time. But the wind was brutal with this thing and it took it. Uh, the internals of this umbrella look solid in the wind when it was open. And I honestly think if you're able to get it tied down in a windstorm, it would, it would make it. It would make it pretty solid. And because you're tying it down equally on all sides and kind of winching it down a little bit, you don't have that much force uh, going on to these things to damage your handles. I think your handles will be fine. And it's, not all, it's also not uh, relying too much on that suction. That suction is kind of just there till you can get everything else tied down to kind of secure and it just kind of sits it up there. But there's not a lot of force once you consider there's five things anchoring this thing down. Without the tent, we had a 106, and this is at 3.57 p.m. We had a 106 temp on the hood, so that dropped slightly, but the cabin temp was 114 degrees, and that was hot. This was not in the sun. The shadow line you can see in the photo uh, is ahead of this. So the cabin temperature, the true indoor cabin temperature, was uh, that 114 degrees. So that's a pretty good shift from 96 to 114. So that's 18 degrees difference. Believe me, that 18 degree difference means a lot. Whenever I got into the car to leave, it was just so, uh, you just didn't want to tolerate it. Open the windows, turn the air up and go. And also here's a little possible fact about vehicles that I really didn't know until I read something about it uh, at the end of last year. Apparently all the glues that are in the car, the chemicals that's in the leather, the chemicals that's in the carpet, in the internal uh, cab period, all those chemicals, they uh, get to toxic levels at a high temperature and you're breathing that in. If you're not rolling down your windows and turning your air conditioning on for about 10 minutes after you get into a super hot car like that, you're breathing these cancerous um, gases and things in that have, that have heated up in those almost 120 degree cabin temps. Let's see how easy it is to put it up. You're not going to use that duffel bag probably, you're just going to throw it in the front, right?
Do 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 Got that. Handle. Now we're going to lock her up. Just push the lock button. That's that, right? There's a little lever that activates that suction cup. But we're going to take our security hook out of the door. Pull this lever up to release it. And uh, 12 and a half pounds right into the trunk. And would I recommend it? Yes. If you don't have a garage, if you have to park out in the sun for eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours a day, I will put this on my vehicle when I go to work. And make sure to remember that if you're using this in super windy conditions, that would be probably the beach. That freaking wind tunnel of a parking lot that I took this to to test it. You may want to be really careful, park in the direction of the wind if you can. So whenever you turn this on, you can kind of angle it down. Just guiding it down with my hand to make sure it's not gonna blow up or go crazy. And another thing to note, See this right here? These pieces here got rubber tips, like gooey rubber tips. So I didn't worry about having that trunk open when I opened it and it hit it. Right, but let's try the second heaviest object, which would be an umbrella. We'll throw out the umbrella. Second object would be the dog toy. This is a Kong, Jackson's favorite toy. He's got two of these, by the way. Successful test of the Kong. We have a pumpkin. It's Halloween. Almost the end of Halloween, so if it breaks, I'm not going to be too upset about it. Although Lauren might think she did fine. They didn't break, and neither did the tent, so that's awesome. Next heaviest object is a roll of tape. We're going to see how this works. Oh, yeah. She's holding up good, but here's the ultimate test a skinny tire. We're going to throw this pretty high to see if it really does happen. It worked. Now, it did release one of the straps here. Come to the duffel bag. The duffel bag is already torn from the factory. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now, but I assume they're probably going to replace it without more passion. I'm going to try to get the new product up. But it seems like they keep the actual money through the product rather than the bag, the big piece bag. I'm not going to, like I said, worry about that. I feel like they did do a good job on the product. cup on the bottom uh, to hold to the roof pretty secure. on it and it's terrible. You know, the first time I tried to secure it, it wasn't paying much attention and didn't uh, didn't hold. Second time I made sure it was flat first and it held really good. Comes with this remote. Uh, this is to hold it up. This is to unfold it. Uh, this is to stop. 
and this is to sync with the product in case uh, you know you get a different product from this brand or whatever. If for some reason they get out of sync or whatever. So resync it in a one touch operation. Got four straps on the corners to secure it down, especially because of the wind. And it's got a fifth strap in the middle. It's supposed to be a security strap to prevent it from being stolen. Uh, the actual material for the strap, I'm not going to try it, but they show trying to use scissors to cut it. It's supposed to be uh, that strap. Uh, hopefully, that never gets tested. temperature is as much as 35 degrees cooler than without it. I believe that's 35 degrees Celsius. Cooler. So I don't know if I said they're doing a Kickstarter campaign right now. You can also be bought on landmoto.com or amazon.com. The seller's name is Landmoto Official. One other product. Uh, it's a car cover, not a tent. Is the other product. This here is a 3.5 meter canopy. I believe it's the only one available right now since it's brand new. They're eventually going to have 4 meter and 4.5 meter. For a van, 4.5 would definitely be better. So this hook here, normally it comes down and attaches to a car handle for like a four-door car. This strap here uh, is supposed to go around the mirror. It doesn't quite reach the mirror. 4.5 meter canopy definitely would. Then uh, that middle strap I was talking about earlier is supposed to be the security strap. It's got a hook inside, so you can't pull it out. And then uh, it's supposed to be some kind of material that uh, can't cut or very hard to cut. I believe they call this theft proof or whatever. And if the battery dies, there's a pin on the top of it you remove and you can use hold it up or open it in manual mode. Other side, it's kind of dark, but we can't really see. But there's a USB port for charging things or running electric items, like a light bulb or something. Especially if you use tent mode, you can actually make an actual tent out of this. It's kind of like a cabana, uh, where. I haven't checked it out yet, but somehow there are walls. There are walls that you can snap onto this, and they, they show it in the video, not the how-to, but what it looks like. There's also the connections for charging on there. The product comes with both a 
car charger and the home charger. Too. Uh, you can also, maybe not right now, but eventually uh, make custom designs, order custom designs. Like, so it doesn't have to be black with red stripe. I guess you can virtually do anything as long as they accept it. So you know, this right here I just have inside the doors, not actually. going the track like that so undo that undo this undo this one let me put the phone back on what should we call it The hooks snag on anything because I got the roof rail. back in the bag make sure none of the hooks are uh, attached to anything this is see all these hooks dangling make sure nothing's attached to anything when you put it up and then uh, when you redo it again make sure nothing snags on nothing it's good to go so far seems like a pretty good product a couple things that could be changed but they'll probably change them down the line you know it's brand new uh, cost three hundred dollars right now it'll probably cost a lot more before too much longer uh, maybe not a lot lot more but four or five hundred or whatever uh, yeah i think it'll do pretty good we'll see over time <laughs>